Hey, what's up, people? Welcome into the studio today. Uh, we're talking about lighting. I added some LED lights to my rig that are controlled and programmed in Ableton to do like, you know, straight up cool light show stuff, right? So um, we're going to talk about the lights today and why you might want to do something like that. So, uh, you know, like, first of all, I didn't expect to be getting like video lighting like controllable, color controllable, dimmable video lighting. I've been doing video stuff for years and years. It never even occurred to me to use these lights, but they're kind of great, right? So I don't have really anything on that shouldn't be on. Um, that was a little LED right here in front of me that I turned on and off. If I'm really in the dark, you can see what that does. That's its lowest setting. But these lights, right? <clears throat> I didn't see this coming. That's how I'm lit right now. If I went ahead and turned this one light off, there you go. So uh, we've got a really nice shot. There's no video lights in here. I don't normally use video lights anyways. If you know my channel, you know that. But uh, we, we really aren't using any now, and it looks like we are. So let's get over here on screen. Uh, let's check out these lights a little bit. This is the controller for the lights, and I'll tell you like, I'll tell you a real quick how what this is about and and how it works and so like you should know these are twenty dollar lights each one of these these I have four of them and each one of them is twenty dollars um, <clears throat> I think they own you have to get them in at least two I bought a four pack and so uh, this is what they look like right this is sitting on top of my speaker monitor so uh, and for reference that's you know how big mic this is standard size of a mic cable this is called a dmx cable and so that's what these lights what's special about these kind of lights you know some people call them dj lights or whatever they're stage lights and you can connect them one to another so that's an in and an out of uh what that of that dmx cable you did give a in and out and that little led thing there that's just menu up down and select and it lets you select the modes of the light like auto or strobe or whatever or dmx mode which lets it let you give it a number and that's the channel right for that number so what's cool about these lights is we can connect them all together or just one whatever but then we can then connect them to a light controller board and manipulate the lights uh if you know that's the traditional world or like you know nowadays we can, can hook these things to a computer and control them you know inside the computer with like this thing so like this is looks just like a light board it's a bunch of little faders and you're like hmm, okay i now understand light boards better um and i'll tell you what the, each one of those things are you know more so in a minute but uh before we stop looking at the actual physical it's a plastic housing it's kind of bigger than i thought it's it's pretty solid you know um, the bracketing totally works well. It's good. And so actually in the room, I have uh, the one that I was just showing you that's on the monitor. You can actually see it over here. Uh, but the other three are mounted to the ceiling, that little bracket. So that was easy enough to do. Have a little bit of a closer look at the bracket mount on the ceiling. So really, I was pretty surprised. I mean, it worked out really good. These are U-King lights that I ordered off of like Amazon, and it didn't take long to even set these things up whatsoever. So uh, let's talk about what that is, what was set up, right? So um, there's videos about this program. This is EMU from Intec, the USB thing that I bought. The interface that I got to connect these lights to the computer is the Intec Black like USB, the expensive one. It was like $170, I mean, not expensive, but costly, sure. And um, that's how these lights are connected to the computer. Um, I chose to use their software. There's not a lot of great options like with the software and there's not really any free options um, either. And they all seem to be subscription. So there's an annoyance right there. I will be actively searching soon to find like more of a, you know, a better solution. I don't like subscription stuff. So, but in the meantime, it does work really well. And so what we have, uh, you get this app and when you open it up, like I said, there, there's stuff on YouTube about setting up fixtures and stuff like that. You know, already I'm not gonna get like a bunch into that. But so each one of these lights, that's what we call that a fixture. And basically 
they have uh, a bunch of manufacturers, you know, in this thing, and Yuking was one of them, so I found the light that worked for me in there. My specific light wasn't listed, but I found one uh, that had a seven channels. I knew this was seven channels from the little manual that came with it. Looked for a seven channel one, boom, it worked. So what you get in seven channels is a dimmer, then you get red, green, blue, a strobe function, uh, then a color function, and then something other function. I don't know what seven is. That might be might be useless. Uh, I don't know. Uh, I use the color functions, the dimmer function, obviously. I've used the strobe and uh, the color. The color one over here, that like it's like a rotate. It rotates colors. If you turn it up, it'll start going like between colors. But so each one of these uh, controls, and so you can see there's seven times four. There's 28 of them. They are all mapped to a channel in Ableton. So I'm going to drag that one out of the way. This is our lights channel. So this lights has a plugin and that plugin is from EMU and from Intect. And you know, you just drop it down there and you get all of those things. They map up over to here in just a button click or two and uh, off you go and you're ready to program your lights. So this is what's running right now. We've been listening to uh, this is song for Zula from phosphorescent and uh, basically there's one light on my front light um, and so let's pop over here I'll let you see the uh, and so yeah if I wasn't clear so we have a MIDI channel over here this channel and in that channel we have this plugin which is connected to this light controller program Right, because as Ableton runs and the lighting changes, all of these faders go up and down. You can like watch them on your, wherever that thing is, which for me is over on that monitor. So inside these clips, that's where the stuff gets done, right? So uh, let's go ahead, go over here. I'll turn on this little bottom thing so you can see the channel and what I'm fooling with. So inside this flyout, while you can't see all this, it just has the faders listed 1 to 28 here, so I can select between them. I'm going to select fader 15, which was already selected, and this envelope now is the control for the light. So if I drop that down, you can see bye bye goes the light. Bring it back up, we've got some light again. Um, it's worthy of noting, I have an LED light, uh, like a strip light that runs behind my console and stuff back here. I'm gonna turn that off so that we can see kind of more more precisely what these lights are doing. <clears throat> that thing cycles through colors uh, that can confuse us for sure. But so as you can see, this is our fader here that we've got this. So we've got a dimmer control for each of these lights, right? Then we've got RGB controls. So the next three, 16, 7, 18. Red usually is up all the way. Green usually is not, but we can start to pull. Oops, we can start to pull green. Let's do the same for blue, and we'll end up with a straight up red. Oh, I'm in the wrong ones. Here's our red. <clears throat> So 16 is red, 17 is green, which I did pull down. 18 is blue, it was already down. So as you can see, obviously, um, I'm all red. So if we want like a more, uh, well, well, you know, that's fine actually for right now. So I have, I have a couple of different scenes. Well, I have a lot of scenes for the song, but so the first scene for me always resets my lights. I've now, it's a new habit inserting the scene above. And this just gives me this nice front light. Um, and we've even got a little bit of a backlight in here too. That's on fader one. So if you look at the floor behind me, you can see there goes fader one. Bye bye. I don't usually have that one on. Let's kill that. Leave that down. When we go to the next scene, whatever we last did, it's there. So as you can see that currently, of course, is that, that red thing. So um, we're not gonna. I'm not gonna go too crazy into stuff uh, today. Let's change the lights without changing the scene. I'm not gonna get too crazy. Just a quick kind of like, hey, this is cool. Like, and uh, what this thing give you a quick look at this stuff. And of course, the fact that it was just so not expensive, and for what you, you're adding. I mean, you've got a video light rig. Your stuff looks totally cool in here. And if you do live streaming or performances. Uh, you've now got a light show that syncs with your stuff like 
it's pretty fun and pretty cool. Uh, but so I will go in in depth as I scream into the microphone. I will go in depth uh, at my streamer school, alwaysandy.co. Um, check out the site over there uh, and in my course, Pro Streaming for Musicians. I am going to add a chapter for lights and I will go uh, much more in depth with a much more bouncy around the song, around the room kind of a song. But um, we'll do a little bit here and I'll show you how fun and cool this can be. So when we pop into this section of the song, let's fade between this light up here and this light over my uh, left shoulder, right? So that's number one. So that one starts down. We'll bring it up for half of the thing and then we'll pull it back down for the other half of the thing. For fader 16 in front of me or 15 in front of me, we'll do the opposite. So now as we watch, we'll see we are now fading from one to the other. Here comes the red. So nice little setup scene. I'll go back up in my light track here. We'll get ready for this next track. Nothing there. But boom, drop an empty clip in. <clears throat> and so it's kind of cool. However you have previously had this thing set when you started and put the plug in in the project, those are the settings that it retains, which is kind of cool for like a blank new clip, which is kind of handy. Uh, but in any event, we don't want this light right now. <clears throat> we want this one. We'll probably make this clip, clip length a bit longer. It's not that long. That's too too long. That that'll be good though. So we're we are going to go like this. We'll bounce it around the room. A from that one to number one. To number three. And then number four. So as you can see, it's a bit of work, but it's kind of worth it. So we have one over here, two over here pop in, three's up front, four's over here. And just like that, we have a nice simple, simple light program, right? I'll go ahead up here and insert another blank clip down here. <clears throat> this is when the vocals start, right? So for this one, we'll do like a little more dramatic. So I'm gonna go up here to 15, this number three light, turn it off. I want my number two light over my right shoulder. I want, I want it blasting so that my face becomes dark too. Which this is our shot. So I kind of like the drama of this particular light right here. So like, here's what we're going to do. We'll just change the colors in this bad boy. It's coming up pretty white right now, which means our red, yep, will be all the way up. Our green, all of them are going to be pretty much all the way up, aren't they? Except for blue. So let's bring up blue. First, let's make this thing longer. So bring up blue and we'll take blue back out. We just want to give like some kind of motion. So I'm gonna look over here and see if what we're what we're affecting. Not much. We need to make it more blue. So let's whoops, I need to stop it. Let's go back and kill some green. We'll kill some green and we'll kill some red. Hold down. 
a better way to say this. seems pretty white still. So one cool thing about this, boom, when you stop in the middle of the clip and it's kind of stopped in the middle of the clips, the lights stay in that state of position. So, uh, oh, look at me. I'm doing the wrong lights is what's happening. Working on light number three. Important to keep yourself straight, what you're doing. So we can start this up. Here's our red. We are gonna like do the same thing. So we're gonna pull red down pull green down while we push blue up. So there's red, here's green. We've already got motion happening. That's much better, isn't it? And we're back out. So the previous scene, we're doing this bounce around thing. Going light to light. And then we get ready to do vocals. We get it all dramatic. I didn't make some fire. Just as bitter as a nickel in his dream. I'm so bad about words. I don't know how the words are in front of me, man. Good luck. Um, okay, so dig it, right? That's like pretty much that's the that's the gig. That's the show. That's what's going on. Um, add some lights to your thing. Like I said, this whole thing, now granted, I kind of took it to the extreme. I got four lights, um, I got the a good USB controller and you know the software stuff there's probably less expensive solutions but that still was i think it was just a couple hundred dollars and uh what you get for that you could pay that much for any any just one video light that would do uh, what these four are doing well so and i purposely left that one not mounted to the wall because i absolutely plan to use that for video projects Regularly, it's some small, lightweight. It uses one watt of electricity. It can plug into the wall, uh, like a USB thing. Oh no, I can't. That's a different light. But uh, I mean, super, super little, easy, economical, awesome light to take around. That's the Yuking Par 36 or something or another. Uh, I don't know what else to say about it. It's cool. I'm having a lot of fun. Check out the Instagrams and stuff. There's probably links around to my stuff, but definitely go to the site, alwaysandy.co. Uh, also out just today, actually, loot packs, big ass guitars, loot packs. Go get them. That's also at alwaysandy.com. Uh, all the stuff, it's all out there for you guys. Crush it. Rock it. Cheers.